the particular power that the aliens have and the reason why these the aliens are beating us is that they're they have the ability to control time to manipulate time and that if you actually had that power it would be the most powerful weapon there is because you can then know what your enemy is going to do before they do it and anticipate it and beat them to it and that's why the aliens are winning and that's why even the fact that they don't have weapons like we do and we're you know we have the armies of the world they're still beating us and what Tom Cruise's character figures out is that the reason they're beating us is because they're manipulating time and they can they can keep re replaying the battle until they get it right what I was much more interested in than the aliens were the ability to relive the day and make different choices and see what happens and maybe because that's a kind of a, a fantasy of mine and many people's of what if you could just go back in time and change that decision you made well here's a character that gets to do that every single day how would that work how does a love story work where she doesn't remember from day to day and he does it's Tom Cruise each time but he's not necessarily doing the same thing two battles in a row so you get to see the battle from this point of view and the next loop he chooses to go to London instead of going into battle so you get to see what it looks like from London or you get to see if he doesn't jump out of the ship what does it look like from the air what does it look like if he goes over here versus there so it, it had that same thing that Rashman had of like getting to see the same event from different points of view but in this case it's actually the same character witnessing it from all these different points of view to have an actor and your star working that hard and that committed to giving you the most material possible to have in the editing room and the most choices is is a, a massive luxury and because Tom was doing it Emily did it and then all the other actors did it and it it sort of it's just set a tone for the day I had heard about how hard Tom Cruise works, and I, I work pretty hard. I mean, I, I feel like I was raised with a really great work ethic. My, my father and mother taught me a really great work ethic, and it, it has stuck with me, you know, it's with me every day. But I, I hate to say it to my parents, but, like, I learned more, I learned an even stronger work ethic from Tom Cruise because, like, he doesn't take it for granted. And Tom understands that, like, people go see his movies because they're good and they're good because he works hard at them in the case of this movie we had a female character who had had the experience prior to him so she actually understood the concept so I was really interested in what it would be like not just to be Tom Cruise and have this basic superpower where you get to keep repeating the day but what it would be like to be Emily Blunt and be in a relationship with a guy where you don't remember what happened yesterday, but he does. But you know that he does and that you don't. It's different than if you're oblivious to it. It's much more interesting if, if for me, if you actually know the concept exists. Of any character that was most defined before we started shooting, it was Bill Paxton's character because it, there was a drill sergeant who was going to be tough to Tom Cruise's character. And, you know, you've seen that in other movies, so in a way it was the most formed, but on the other hand it also meant I didn't want to have a drill sergeant like the drill sergeants I'd seen in other movies. And uh, Bill Paxton and I had this amazing Skype session where by the end of the uh, Skype session I had written down like a page of, of lines that he had just riffed in the Skype session. And I, uh, by that point, Chris McCrory was writing, and I brought him the page of dialogue, and I said, this is the character. Not only is Bill the guy who's going to play it, but, like, I now actually, ha I know what the character is. I know how to make this character special and different. I really had the most incredible cast because uh, they, they were so helpful and imaginative and talented in helping me create characters for each and every one of them, memorable characters for each and every one of them. Uh, and, and they took such pride and passion in sort of being my partners, in, in helping to, to 
figure out this movie and figure out fun things for their characters to do and human things for their characters to do. And it was, you know, I'd get emails from them every night, you know, what if my character did this? Or even what if someone else's character did this? You know, they were all, they all became my creative partners. Uh, and I've always had an approach going into my movies where my actors are the sort of custodians of their characters. I've always made them my partners. Uh, you know, I don't believe in just sort of ordering the, the actors around, but I, I really like saying, hey, together we're going to create a character. We said, you know, what about getting permission to land Tom in a military helicopter in Trafalgar Square? And she said, you know, absolutely not. No one, no one's ever landed a helicopter in Trafalgar Square. Even in World War II, they weren't landing helicopters in Trafalgar Square. It's the you know, in the history of England, the helicopters never landed in Trafalgar Square, and it's like, it's just not doable. And Tom was in the meeting and he just gives one of his smiles. And next thing you know, Sue Quinn comes back and says, we may be able to land a helicopter in Trafalgar Square. And from there it went to Sue saying, I think we're going to be able to land a helicopter in Trafalgar Square to finally like, yes, we're going to land a helicopter in Trafalgar Square.